Oh my God, I'm so pale. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. <laughs> I've been on a mini hiatus, okay, I haven't posted in like a month. Uh, my hair is now really long. We uh, have a centre parting thing, comes down to like just below my earlobes, so you know. I decided it was probably about time that I start coming back to YouTube because it's been a little while. Basically we're in lockdown number three over here in the UK, I'm just not feeling anywhere near as good as I did in the first one because in the first one it was like summer, it actually wasn't. It was hot and I was like feeling good, feeling motivated. I was like posting on YouTube every week. I was doing Instagram photos like twice a week. I was doing exercise. This lockdown for the first three weeks, I've just been on placement, working 55 hours a week, as in five 11 hour shifts um, and then sleeping all weekend. <laughs> so. There you go. I actually really enjoyed it, so can't really complain too much. I just haven't managed to also keep on top of YouTube and social media and stuff. But today I wanted to bleach and dye my undercut in the way that I wanted to do it last time when I unintentionally gave myself bowl cut um, and then didn't really dye any color because it was like a millimeter of hair. I have some bleach. I have this purple hair dye, which I've used before uh, to do this hair. I actually have that exact hair here. I've actually already filmed this intro like twice and like shown this hair already. Oh, look, it's the blue fringe. This is my hair that I've somehow saved since cutting it all off and shaving my head. And this is from even before that, when I first cut my really long hair into a bob. There's a little, there's a little run through. Um, I hope everyone's doing good. I know it's, it's a weird time. I know I'm, I feel the way that everyone else felt in the first lockdown or like how everyone said they were feeling in the first lockdown. So like, I understand now, finally. I've like literally watched three Netflix series <laughs> in the past three days, which was quite impressive. I'm also procrastinating from doing stuff in Wolf because that's what I was meant to be doing today. But honestly, my brain. It's just blank all the time. I've been really wanting to dye my hair. I want to dye it red, but um, I'm also just trying really hard not to touch it. I just want to grow it out. But also, I'm um, remembering how boring this hair color is. One of the things I used to hate about my hair was that I could never style it because there was so much of it. Like my hair is thick, which is why after I bleached my hair, my hair would actually go straight because it was so damaged, which I actually really liked. But anyways, I'm gonna make a really small amount of bleach. I've spoken about before about how I love watching Olivia Neal and Emma Chamberlain, they're like my two favourite YouTubers. I don't really watch them as much anymore. Then the other day I went on TikTok and it looks like Olivia Neal's getting like cancelled. I don't know why. And like it's just strange because she's not the kind of person who I would ever imagine getting cancelled. So if anyone knows anything about that, I don't want to be like a huge gossip but I just want to know what's going on. Cancel culture is just so messed up, like, like everyone messes up. It's just some people mess up on camera in front of people. But yeah, bleaching powder. The only thing I didn't like about doing this undercut thing before is I actually never saw it unless I got like two mirrors. <laughs> Ew, that one on my nose. Like I have to go like this in front of a mirror. So my camera died and I couldn't find the spare. So whilst my battery was charging, as in I couldn't find my spare battery, whilst this battery was charging, I clipped up the back of my hair um, in some kind of attempt to separate the short hair. You can kind of see where it's been bleached before. It looks kind of strange. I don't know if it's focused or not, but the, yeah, right. Anyway, so I'm just gonna bleach that now and leave it on there for a little bit and see what, see what happens. Okay, so I have my bleaching powder developing lotion Isaac's currently in a lecture right now he's just started uni again online whereas I have nothing for the next two weeks it feels a lot like I'm going into my last year of veterinary essentially in two weeks I start rotations and then I I'm on rotations until finals <laughs> I'm, I'm really on the final stretch now. Ooh, 
This feels like a lot of hair I'm actually bleaching. I kind of want it to be a straight line, even though I haven't separated a straight line. I want to give you all my life updates without just like continuously talking to the camera. There's actually not that much that's happened. Isaac and I went away for a week in Wilf and we filmed a lot, some stuff, but apparently it's a bit rubbish. So we never ended up editing and uploading it. I also have no idea how well this is gonna like raise um, or lighten because this is like actually my natural hair. Um, I've never really bleached my natural hair color because in my first video where I thought I was bleaching, I was just using a high lift tint. So here goes nothing. That's pretty much done. I'm not too worried about like my roots because there's not really any need for me to go down to my roots. Uh, I'm gonna put some gloves on and like massage it in because I haven't separated my hair and it's gonna be a lot easier to just do it this way. I also think I'm gonna make up a little bit more bleach because that actually went pretty quickly. I just feel a bit boring right now on the old YouTube. I feel like people started following me a lot in like the first lockdown when I was doing like lots of crazy things to my shaved head. And now I'm just growing my hair out. I want to curl my hair, but I don't have like curling, a curling iron here or anything. Like all my, I don't even have a hairbrush here. Like I literally have nothing here. I literally have like no clothes either, which is why I've been wearing the same tracksuit every day since we came here on the 18th of December. It's now February. Cause I literally thought we'd just be coming back for my two week placement and then going back to uni. And then I ended up staying for an extra week in my placement because I actually really enjoyed it, which was so surprising, but a good surprise, a nice surprise. Essentially, I went into this placement not thinking I was going to want to do or be a small animal vet. And I came out of this placement now thinking I probably will be a small animal vet, <laughs> as opposed to like equine and large animal. I never wanted to be large animal as in like farm, because I'd be going to dairy farms and stuff and you know, as a vegan, uh, I'm not sure any farmers would actually want me <laughs> on their farms, let alone would I want to be there. I wonder if it's actually going to fully bleach or if it's just going to go a bit ginger. So it's already lifting like a lot. It's been like literally 10 seconds. <laughs> Um, so I'm surprised at how fast it's actually lightening, but I guess that's because it's actual bleach. Yeah, so I'm just going to leave that to do its thing for a little while, and uh, then I'll get back to you, and then we'll die. This is so easy, like, I feel like I haven't really challenged myself with this one, you know? I can confirm this has lifted a lot easier than I thought it was going to. Like, it looks like it's completely done. But also I did just, I just poked around at it a little bit with like my glove on and um, I think there's some bits that are still brown <laughs> like underneath where I didn't obviously section it because it's so hard to section hair when it's like this long. Uh, but anyway, I think I'm gonna wash it out because it stings a lot and I've already wiped around it a few times with a flannel but I probably should put like Vaseline, should have done that. Um, but. It looks pretty bleached and as far as I remember this purple was like really strong so yeah I am actually so chuffed with that Ta -da. let's stay can you see it's actually I'm just like look at this line like I'm so happy with it because it actually has like hair going over the top of it which is what I wanted so it's like an actual undercut rather than like having a straight line and it being and it being bleached it's actually like there's hair on top of bleach ah! actually worked it worked who would have thought not me um but yeah now i'm in a bit of a dilemma because it looks so funny it's so yellow um right anyway my options are, I have this purple, which if I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use light because otherwise it goes really dark and then it will just look brown. So 
as in like it won't be very different from brown but what i've just found red and i've been saying that i want to start my whole hair red so not like this red but you know what i mean but yeah i think i'm gonna do red i don't i've never dyed my hair red before because i've always had something like against it for some reason i think it's just because like loads of people dye their hair red so i wanted to be different but now I want red, so I'm gonna do red. Do you know what I mean though? Like, so many people just dye their hair red, or cause like, cause you can get easily like red hair dye that goes over brunette. So like, loads of people with brunette hair will dye their hair red. Ugh. Anyway, don't know what I'm saying. Hopefully the bleach is washed out enough. This is always the most annoying thing is like, if there's still a tiny bit of bleach in your hair, then the color won't stick to it. Oh, look who it is. You need to go get a cup of tea and just like stand there. What are you doing? I just finished with that trip. Oh my god. Okay, I'll get a cup of tea. Bye. Oh. UV red. Have I even used this? Have I not used this before? Oh, okay, yes I have. And the second I open it, it drips on my legs. Brilliant. Why is it orange? I have a feeling this is gonna be a really bad colour because I think these these were like really cheap. This is the hair dye. I, I got this for when I was doing the rainbow. I don't know why I had red though. Was there red? Oh, there must have been red in the rainbow. It looks like ketchup. I just don't think this is going to turn out like good. Also, my hair's still wet and I'm not like separating it. Right. Ketchup going on. I'm doing red instead of purple. Oh. I'm feeling it's going to come out orange. You've had orange hair before? No, but like bright orange. What bright orange? What? Remember when it matched your coat? I never had an orange coat. Yeah, you did. I had a red coat. No, you had an orange, not your puffer jacket, your orange oh. fluffy one. Oh, yeah, Is my neon hair. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I did How have How do I know your hair better than you? I did have an orange hair. My mad. Applied to freshly washed, dry hair. Great, my hair's done. Empty. Do not apply to scalp. One. Why do I always read it after you've done it? Leave for 15 to 30 minutes. How do you not apply it to your scalp? I have washed it out. It looks like this. I wait, I haven't even seen it yet. Um, so I don't actually know what it looks like. Well, it looks pretty bright. Yeah, cool. I'm gonna blow dry it. Actually, the first time I blow dried my hair um, since cutting it, and it actually looks so shiny. But this is again, I can't, I can't see it, so I don't. Whoa, that looks really cool. Let me go and get a mirror. I don't know what this red mark is that just came up on my head. My hair actually looks really healthy and shiny, shampoo and conditioned, and blow dried. Wow. The hell? It's actually dried so nicely. I think I'm gonna just start blow drying my hair every day. Um, but yeah, anyway, the back. Whoa, she is bright. Okay, so I still have some like <laughs> dye on my hair, but that's pretty, it's pretty cool. And then if we go like this, that's pretty sick. Look. Oh my God, I love it. I don't know what kind of angle you see. <laughs> it's really like, it's really bright. It's like, well, I mean, it does actually say on the box UV red, bright UV red, so I'm not surprised. But yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. I wish I could like show it better. I feel like I can't show it very well, but there you go. I like that it's just kind of like, it's quite subtle and then like there's not a lot of it, but it's it's very there. But yeah, anyway, I think that's actually it for the video. If you want to see a quick tour of Wilf, 
stick around and I'll show you that. Yeah, so thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And I'm gonna give you a little tour of Wolf now. I feel like I haven't actually caught up that much. I don't think I've actually said that much at all. This has been kind of weird for me. Like I haven't done one of these videos in a very long time. So, sorry, I can't stop touching my hair. It's so shiny. I've been using this shampoo and conditioner. Wow, sidetracked. This. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I will answer and go through. Uh, follow me on Instagram because I post there like all the time on my story. And also I post on TikTok quite a lot too. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. I'll be back again soon, I'm sure. But no promises. This is so bright. Uh, okay. Bye. <laughs>